Um, it's been getting a bit chilly lately, so I thought we'd get out there, get some sleeping bags, beanies, some phones, just stuff for the less fortunate that aren't able to um, stay warm during this time of year. Everyone's got a spare something, do you know what I mean? But people decide to spend money on other things like alcohol, or drugs, or fucking whatever. But like, Brody, you, you got a spare $5? Yeah. Why have you never bought a beanie for anyone? Man, when you're fucking cold and you're freezing, it's the worst feeling ever. So it's about seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, I think. And what we're gonna we're gonna be able to keep some people warm. So this is a garpe. So I'm pulling into a garpe now. This is a mob that help out the less fortunate as such. Yeah, I, I've noticed it's been getting a bit cold as of late, and um, I've even been cold in the house. And I think, what about these people that aren't even in a house? Far exactly. out. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and then don't even have the the opportunity to keep warm. You know, so we, we went and got them some stuff, some sleeping bags, um, beanies, gloves, scarves, um, just, a, a, just a bunch of stuff. You know, obviously I got some phones as well. Um, that's, that's an issue for a lot of people, don't you? you know, and some um, charging, yep. you know, the charging packs. I mean, that was beautiful. They were grateful. Yeah, they were. And they do good work. I'll get it out to people who need it. And Oh, yeah, people come here. That they, they would already know who's, who's on the street, who needs a sleeping bag, who needs a phone, who needs, you know, this and that. You know what I'm hungry for? Red Rooster. No, fuck no, Red Rooster. Fuck that. I'm hungry for a nice piece of fish. So we're going to go to this fish and chip shop. Now this one, Manetti's, I'm not sure if it's the same owners or even if it's called Manetti's on the tweed anymore. But they used to do really good pieces of fish, flathead, snapper, all that. So let's go give an honest review because I like fish and chips. Mm. Um, oh, this place. I've never been here. It's called Get Hooked. Okay, there we go. So the name's changed. They used to be Manetti's. Manetta's? For the viewers, they might not have seen that you're actually a world champ fisherman. Mm. So you've caught, you've caught the world's biggest flathead. So he knows how they should taste. So we're going to get a pretty insightful review here this morning. I'll get two, two crumb, two battered. And two grills. Two grills. Oh, there we go. So that meal there for three people came to $101. Um, price point, probably a bit extreme. But let's just see how much food we get first. $100. The sauces, obviously you've got to have tomato. I call it tomato, even though it's tomato. Tate and seafood. Oh yes. Ooh, come to papa. We got battered flathead. We've got crumb flathead, and I can't pick that up, but we've got grilled flathead. We're in Tweed Heads at a place called Get Hook Seafoods, and we're going to rate that flathead, because we know flathead better than fucking anyone. Okay, so here's the battered one I'm just going to try first. Oh my god, that, that looks like I'm, I'm not shitting you. I'm not shitting you, that's incredible. And that's about it. All right, let me in. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll go tart there. <laughs> they knew we were coming. They've known we're filming and they've done up their best. They've called someone in who was actually sick or not working on holidays today just to come and cook this. This is actually very fucking good. Isn't it? That's very fucking good. That's the best fish and chips I've had in this fucking region since the Inky Squid shut down at Terra Nora. I'd give it a good seven. Only seven? Yeah. I'd give it a good seven. This is a this is a nine. I, I can't. Oh, uh, oh, a I, nine. I, I, I don't a know. A nine. I don't know what would make it better. Oh. Hang on, I'm tasting the crumb now. Let me go. I'm gonna go tomato. Oh. That is lightly, lightly brown. Yeah. It's just brown and it's um, it's golden. Yeah. Look, I'll give that a seven as well. A what? seven, a seven's good. Six. Really? Try it. That's a six. Because you didn't have any sauce, did you? Yeah. Look, it's. It's a difficult one because it's there's nothing on it. 
I've never gone for grilled fish. I don't know, seven. Okay, now. Yeah. $101, you've got five potato scallops, four pieces of, no, six pieces of fish, two large chips, some drinks. Is that a fair price in this day and age? I think it is. Yeah, it probably is fair, yeah. Everything, I would probably, I would say a seven. Or everything would be a seven. And I, I, in my opinion, a seven's a fucking good number. Seven is very good. You gotta remember, 10 is, you, you can't beat 10. Seven, you're only three off. 10, that's fucking good. I really enjoyed it. Wandering in, having a look at the cabinet. You know, I'd, I'd give the joint, I'd give the joint an overall eight, eight and a half. Hang on. Look at that. A bone. You know what that is? That there, that'll kill you. Yeah. I could have just died. That's a big thing for me. Bones. I don't fucking like them. Well, my overall rating from the experience to the food yep. was a seven. Okay. Which I think is quite good. Yeah, it's good, but it's room for improvement. What's your number? Oh. Mine was 8.5. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, but what I said was... A That's couple, for the batter. Because my, my argument is, all right, if it's seven, where's the, where's the room for improvement? We're going to go, where can you buy Yeti Eskies? We're going to replicate that video. Oh yeah. Because I have seen, you've seen the video, right? Yeah. They get the Eddie Esky, they put it in a fish tank, right? Mm. They sink it to the bottom and they have toilet paper in there. Actually, it's not an Esky. It's a, it's one of their new expensive like work containers or something. Waterproof work containers. So we'll get these. I want to see if Marley will actually have a dinner and drink out of these. Flatty juice. It's been a big day. We've done a lot, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We've had lunch. We've we've eaten fish and chips. Tasted flathead. Given our rating on that, we've smashed a fish tank. Went to Yeti. Bought some overpriced dog bowls. We've actually done a lot today. Gin up another shoot. We've done heaps. And now we're doing a, a podcast in the flatty hole with a bloke that said he rode a whale for four hours. So he's coming now. Um, he sounds legit. So and then we'll do that. But this is what our days are like. They're fucking massive. Experiences. Yeah, exactly. You did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck's sake. What about Cronulla? How was it growing up? Were you, were you there for the riots? When did you move yeah, out? Yeah, so with the riots, me, me brother was a pro surfer, Troy Dennehy, Nugget. Big day. Yeah. Big day on tools. That's, that's what we do. Now you're going to be joining us for our adventures and whatever, and um, see you tomorrow. Yep. Catch it.